I wrote this simple snake game about five or six years ago, and although I think the code looks alright, let's see what Jake thinks. So let's open up Jake by saying control space control G. That will launch the Jake window. And it should remember our credentials. So it signed me in as Tom. And I'm going to ask it to perform a code review on my block diagram and make suggestions on how to make it better. So here it's actually given my code a score out of 10. And much like the CLD exams, it's given a score for complexity, for documentation, for organization and error handling, with some ways that I can improve my code. It's also given um, high level performance analysis. So with that, I did a at BD for block diagram, but now I can ask it, hey, take a look at my FP, my at FP, my front panel. And I gave it the additional information that this is for a snake game. It's given me an evaluation out of 10 for complexity, organization, etc. And it's also given me ways of improving it. And when I ran this um, in the past, it even gave me suggestions on how to integrate a leaderboard or um, have user profiles to display multiple high scores at once, etc. Okay, so now let's have a look at a specific section of code. So I'm going to highlight some code on the block diagram and say, what does this code do at selection? And I'm going to ask Jake, is there a better way of doing this? Immediately, I can see that this code should be generating a random number um, within a scale. And Jake is telling me exactly the same thing. It's telling me what the individual functions do. But more than that, it's telling me what the sum of all of those functions are, as in it's generating a pseudo random number within a range. It's even suggesting I use the random number range function. And this is a VI that actually exists in LAVI. If I do quick drop and type random number, you can see random number range exists. And actually, if this function existed when I wrote this code initially, this is the function I would have used. But I can also ask Jake just questions about my VI, like where is this VI located on disk? Um, and so I can take this file path, copy it into Windows Explorer, like so. And sure enough, this is where my source code resides. And I'm always forgetting git commands. So I can ask Jake, hey, what's the git command for finding the remote URL? And it tells me I can copy it into my clipboard. Then in git bash here, I can run the command. And this is actually a public repository. So if you want to download this code, you can do.